Madam Deputy Speaker, may I firstly begin my point of order by just re-emphasising that we are all here tonight to vote on the civilian deaths in Gaza and the appalling situation that has been faced by nationals in Israel too. We all must remember that. Madam Deputy Speaker, if I have listened correctly to what has just been said, on SNP Opposition Day, <coughs> should the Labour Party's motion be carried, then the SNP's vote will not be held. Yes. Secondly, if I, have, if I have read the clerk's letter to all members correctly, which was sent to the, to the Speaker, this was a consequence that he was warned of. Yes. So can you please advise me, where on earth is the Speaker of the House of Commons? we bring him to this house now to explain to the Scottish National Party why our views and our votes in this house are irrelevant to him. Well, I thank the, I thank the honourable gent right honourable gentleman for his uh, point of order. First of all, Eleanor the, who is that? It really is. It really would be helpful. I'm sorry, she's just here. I'm just giving some support. Name. Starting at that name. Name. Order. It can, as long as it takes, we will. I will answer the point of order, and then I will take other points of order. But I would suggest that we uh, allow me to speak first. Further to the, the right hon. Gentleman's point of order, I have explained that um, there were going to be, uh, as I understood it, three votes tonight. The Government has withdrawn from that. The consequence is, as the right hon. Gentleman says, that if the, if the, if the, uh, if the uh, Labour Party amendment is passed, it is then added to the uh, SNP motion. So there is not. So he is so he's right. He is right to say. No, 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 no. Let me finish. He is right to say that there would be, um, if there was a division, there would be just one vote. But if it goes through, then we move on to the next business. Let me, let me first of all take the point of order from the chair of the procedure committee.